What's up? So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday skincare routine that's super natural and great for acne prone skin. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so the first step definitely for like skincare in general for me is usually I remove my makeup and I take a shower. I don't take a shower every night, like kind of lazy, but... I'm going to be showing you the full routine, so I actually am going to be taking a shower. Um, so, the first thing I do is I wash my face. I do not wash it with soap, which a lot of people are like, huh, like how do you keep your face clean? Water in a wash rag is honestly super gentle and super cleaning, and it doesn't strip any of your natural oils off the skin. As you can see, like I'm wearing makeup right now. You will see that the water and this washcloth, I actually use a very odd washcloth compared to most. So most people use like terry cloth, which is like very rough and it's actually kind of abrasive. It's like a scrub in a way. And I really try to stick away from like exfoliating and like scratching up my skin because that definitely irritates it. It can cause acne when you're like moving all of your dead skin around. I just find that this is not gentle enough to clean your face. So I use a bamboo cloth. Mine, as you can see, is very loved and very used. It's kind of like a baby white material almost. It's dry. It's just um, super soft. I just wet the cloth with super cold water, like as icy as it gets. I personally do not use hot water on my face. I find that also irritates it. So now time to remove the makeup. I do not remove normally my eye makeup with these wipes. I'll show you what I use for my eye makeup. Then for my eyes, I take these Pacifica makeup removing wipes. Honestly, I find makeup wipes super harsh on my skin. Like normally it makes my skin sting and sometimes I'll get some irritation from it, like a rash or a few like little breakouts. So I just really focus this on my eyes. Boom. So my makeup is now off for the most part. Now I just rinse my face with cold water, like super cold. Now. I pat my face dry with, oh, with my towel. Now, as you can see, my skin is now clean, no makeup on it. It's now time to pop in the shower. Ow, that hurt really bad. <laughs> Ow. One more step before skincare, I have to do my hair. I'm gonna blow dry today because I'm like just recovering from being sick and it's cold out, so I feel like having wet hair is not a good idea. So I'm gonna blow dry it. Okay, so my hair is like pretty blow dried. It's not like super blow dried, but like it's less wet. So we're all good. Now it is time for skincare. For me personally, skincare, I want it to be super simple and easy and I don't wanna have to use a lot of products. I know that five products may seem like a lot, some of them are optional in my opinion, um, but normally I use five products. So the first thing I start off with is the Perfecting Primer from Frilliance. This product actually just launched today, so I'm very, very excited. So um, yes, let me, let me share some before photos. As you can see, I had acne. I had a lot of pimples, like they weren't necessarily huge, but they were definitely very inflamed. And it's still pimples, it's still acne. Like it obviously made me like upset and just like uncomfortable with my skin. Like I never like felt like I could go out in public without makeup on. For the most part, my skin is so much clearer. Like I have a few little breakouts on my forehead, like one here, one, actually this is not even a pimple. This I was like shaving my eyebrows and I like cut myself. Um, but I have like a few occasional pimples. But, like I'm completely happy with that. I'm like, you know what? Of course, like if I have acne prone skin, you're gonna get pimples every now and again. I'm on my period, so that's probably half of it. But for the most part, my skin is clear. <laughs> And I would say the main thing that's helped me is the serum, drinking a lot of water and making sure that like I'm eating okay. But skincare related, definitely this primer. I'll share some um, ingredients that are in here. So there is mandelic acid in here. By the way, I just take like two pumps and I put it on my fingertips and then I apply it to my skin. Also, love the feeling that it gives. It's very cooling and refreshing. It gives you a bit of a moisture and glow, but it also really fights acne. This has mandelic acid, so it's actually derived from almonds, and acid just sounds super harsh, but pretty much what it is, is it's like a non, 
like beady or like rough exfoliator so it helps turn over your skin so it refreshes your skin so then your skin is like turning over new skin so it's more fresh more clean and more um more glowy looking it also has lactic acid which is a very similar thing it helps turn over your skin and give you a very light exfoliant because i feel like every time i say exfoliant people are like mm, like oh there's like the little beads in it to help like exfoliate your skin no it's super super gentle because exfoliating your skin can lead to so many other problems then there's aloe vera that is super cooling and moisturizing it also has orange fruit extract which is really really helpful for moisturizing the skin and keeping it clear next up there is eucalyptus oh my god eucalyptus leaf oil which is super super antibacterial which is exactly what we want for fighting acne because Obviously, acne is a bad bacteria, so this is fighting it. So there's many more ingredients in here, but those are like the main ones that really help fight acne. I hope that like proves it to you because I feel like whenever someone's like, oh yeah, like try this, it's not gonna break you out and it'll like help your skin. Like it never works. This actually does and it really is a great start to curing your acne. Um, so I just applied that all over my skin, very refreshed. Next up, this is optional for my skin personally. This is like the one thing that really really helps me like moisturize my super dry spots I have really like dry like areas around my nose which bother me. So uh, I use this Evan Healy pomegranate repair serum It has sea buckhorn in it and pomegranate a great thing about pomegranate oil is it helps repair your skin and it helps with like scarring and um just like in general, it helps moisturize and also it helps with sun damage. Um, so I'm just gonna apply two pumps all over my face. I also put this under my eyes. Um, it's super, super like glowy to say the least. I find that it's super moisturizing and this is the one thing that's like, oh my gosh, like I feel like I just got like a drink of water. And I think it's great with the serum, but at the same time, this is optional. I don't think you need it, but I like it. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, oil breaks out your skin. That is not true, or at least that's what I have found. I've done so much research, um, but you are welcome to believe whatever you want to believe. So I do use an oil to moisturize my face. The next product I use as a spot treatment, it's actually not marketed for acne, but I've done a lot of research on silver and how it's super antibacterial when you apply it to the skin. So this is a silver gel. Um, it's a first day gel. It's topical healing. It's great for cuts and like healing the bacteria or like killing the bacteria and healing your cut. So it's great for acne. So like, let's say like you pop your pimple. There's a lot of bacteria that gets like, kind of like, like launched, if you will. It's like a little volcano. It spreads all over your face. So you definitely want to put this on top of your pimple if you just popped it. Or if your pimple is just there, this will help fight the bad bacteria. I'm gonna read this off the screen because I'm not gonna remember it. Um, but silver claims to kill the bad bacteria which causes acne. So um, yes, what I do is I just put one little pump on my fingertip. It goes like a long way. It's so interesting how there's silver in this. Like it's crazy. Um, and I'm just gonna dot this on my pimple. I kind of make it like thick. And then I have one right here. And then I'm gonna put it right here. Um, and then that's it. Like it just is a little glob on there and I let it kind of soak in and it's really antibacterial. I'll apply it a few times a day um, to my pimples. So that's a little tip there. Next up, I'm going to take the Frilliance Refreshing Facial Mist and I spray it all over my face. I was like opening my mouth and talking while I was spraying it. Oopsie. It doesn't taste the best, but it smells and feels amazing. It's super refreshing. It's a super antibacterial and acne fighting facial mist, so if you do have acne prone skin, I would recommend it. By the way, Frilliance is my beauty brand. I created it when I was 12. I have five beauty products, now one skincare product, and I'm launching more in 2020. So it has definitely been a while in the works, but I've always loved makeup and skincare and struggled with acne. So that is the reason why I created this beauty line, because I feel like there's nothing out there that's really made for like teens. Um, so when I launched it, at least there wasn't. Now there's a competitor that is kind of similar, but mine's better. Um, so yeah, you may or may not know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, when I launched it, it was the only teen beauty brand out there and it is the best. I've done so much research, oh my gosh, I've done so much research and I am a teen, so like I understand our skin. So yeah, um, next up, I'm gonna be taking some aquifer and I just use this on my lips 
um, it's like eight bucks at CVS. It's definitely not the most like natural, but I like it. It moisturizes my lips, so yes. And that is my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to pick up the serum that launched today. This will help your acne, I promise. It's a great base for your makeup and it's a great skincare product overall. Um, and it's affordable, so it's worth picking up. But yes, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers to clear skin. Mwah. Bye.